Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back in October last year, I posted a video that Intel had announced that they would be dropping um, their Pentium and Celeron CPU brandings this year in 2023, which basically are their entry-level processors, as many of you will know, and they would be renaming them Intel Processor from this year. And I'll leave a link to that video in the description because it will give you um, a whole lot more info. And my reason for mentioning that video is because now recently uh, Intel has once again confirmed that they are going to be making more name changes to some of their up and coming um, processes through the course of this year. Now, um, it seems that according to some of these announcements that Intel's upcoming processor generation Meteor Lake um, will be getting a new branding and naming scheme um, this year. And this has been confirmed by Intel over on Twitter. So if we just head over to that tweet, um, they say, yes, we are making brand changes as we are at an inflection point in our client roadmap in preparation for the upcoming launch of our Meteor Lake processors. We will provide more details regarding these exciting changes in the coming weeks. And that's according to that confirmation over on Twitter, as we can see. Now, um, this means on a more practical level um, that... Um, some of these CPU Intel processors in the future will be released as, as an example, Core 3, 5, 7, and 9. So that means that they will not have the R, the R3, the R5, the R7, and the R9 as examples and um, before the actual name of the CPU. So as another example, if I head over to my About um, in my Settings system page, um, here we get that I'm running a 11th gen Intel Core R5. So there you can see that's an R5, which is currently the name branding for some of these CPUs. Now, this is what's also going to be set to change, as mentioned. And this is um, basically being suggested by a lot of um, online media outlets um, that, as an example, the new Meteor Lake processors would get the Ultra branding for Meteor Lake processors. And you basically, your other processors would get the Intel core branding but without the r so it won't have the the r at the front and at the start of the actual processor's name so and when they drop the r part it means that uh, in the future that the um, processors could be called and will be called core 3 core 5 core 7 and core 9 respectively and as mentioned um, these uh, should be rolling out in the near future with most of these uh, changes taking place to their processor and CPU branding taking place before the end of this year 2023 and um, obviously um, that's what we know at this stage and if any more info becomes available I'm obviously watching this one and I will obviously post and let you know if I get wind of any more information so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one